what's up guys welcome back to my video i know i look cray cray i just did this gorgeous golden goddess makeup look and before my camera decides to die on me i want to go ahead and get through some of my favorites I don't do a favorite video every month because I don't have favorites every month. You guys know I don't buy products every single month. I just buy stuff and if I use it and I love it, I share it with you guys. So I think my last favorite video was like a while back. So since I do have a ton of favorite products, I want to go ahead and share that with you guys. I'm going to kind of move quickly because like I said, my camera is about to die. Um, so first, I'm going to get into my foundations for my favorite foundations that I'm using right now at the time, which is the Maybelline Fit Me. I use this, and this is the foundation stick. I use this for the whole throwback series because I was just totally obsessed. I've been having it for a while and haven't used it, and I was totally obsessed with this product after the first video, and I've been using it ever since. It is a good product, um, shine-free oil free just love it the next product is the maybelline dream velvet guys i cannot say anything bad except that it's a little bit thick and it's you know you gotta have to wet your brush to get it everywhere but it is a bomb product it covers great and it keeps me matte all day i am gonna do a stay matte video for the summer like i did last year for you guys so stay tuned for that the next product are concealers I've been using these two concealers since February and I think I'm like pretty satisfied with them. The Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer and the NARS um, Creamy Radiant Concealer. I am obsessed with both of these. Um, for these throwback looks, I didn't use these because I didn't want to run out of these. But guys, if you have not tried neither one of these products, I kid you not, they are awesome. The next product is lashes. So as you guys know from way back then, I did not use lashes at all. But now that I do for my makeup looks for you guys, I am obsessed with the Ardell lashes. Like those are the main lashes that I use for almost every makeup look and I just keep them on deck. I just bought a new pair. Um, I got the Wispies and I also got the double up 204 lashes i haven't tried these out yet but the wispies are my favorite i get the 105s i get i have so many ardell lashes it's crazy this these are my favorite 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 lashes <laughs> for wing liner you guys have noticed that i've been starting to do wing liner more because i actually found a product that i've been having and haven't even used that works perfectly which is the l'oreal infallible um liquid uh cream liner and this is in the blackest black this is my favorite liner trust me guys i'm going to go through how many liners i have right now that failed me um but this one is bomb the next one's also a liner but it's not a cream liner it's actually i got in my sephora um box I think last month or the month before and this is the Kat Von D tattoo liner I've heard so much about this liner I didn't know how good it was until I got it for free well you know got it in my box and I've been using it and it is amazing to do wing liner on myself and on clients um, it's not as rich as the creamy liner but it is really good I absolutely love this liquid liner it's the best liquid liner I've tried so far the next product is primers i am obsessed with primers now primers for my eyelid primers for my face i'm just buying new primers all the time but the ones that i really love for my eye i have like two favorites right now but this one is absolutely my favorite and it's super inexpensive which is the elf eyeshadow lock primers they have two I, this is the newest one and then this is the one that i always use so if you guys are looking for an inexpensive eyeshadow primer the elf shadow lock kid you not is amazing I am satisfied with the product for only three bucks. You can't really beat that. Next are lip products. I'm obsessed with the liquid, the NYX Liquid Suede um, lip products. I don't know, it's something about these that I just, I just absolutely love. I know a lot of people don't really like them because they don't really last as long, which I don't have a problem with because my lips get super dry with matte lipsticks and these don't stay on super long and they don't get super matte so i'm fine with that aspect of the product i just love the um, little brush 
I love the amount of product that I get for the price. I just love the colors. Um, these are the three I have so far. Um, I just, I can't really say anything negative about the product. I found a nude color that works for me. I found a gray and a pink. So I'm just super obsessed with these products. The next product is the, um, I hope I'm saying this right, the Sona Kashek. I hope I'm saying that right. Their new knockout beauty products are just the bomb. I got the lashes in the bronzer highlighter and the lashes I love the full volume set. I haven't used the other set which comes at the top which is the full allure set but their lashes are amazing. These will remind me of the wispies of Ardell so I think that's why I'm more obsessed with the bottom pair than the top because I haven't used the top yet but I love the packaging and also for the bronzer it is so cute so pretty um i love that it gives you a light bronze or glow um i actually use it in this video it gives you a light glow something not too harsh so if you're looking for something light you want to get that natural look but i love those products they are super amazing and they're kind of they're really affordable and they sell them at target so pick them up the last two products are more like beauty products um the first product is the sponge it's dirty but i just used it and this is from sephora Sephora Beauty Blender is freaking amazing. I can use it wet or dry. Most people tell you to dampen the Beauty Blender to help smooth out your concealer. This one you can use dry and get the same effect and it has a little small part for under the eye. I am obsessed with this. If you guys need a good Beauty Blender, go to Sephora and pick this one up. Um, this one I got in my box, so I'm not quite sure. I will leave a link to the little beauty blender. It's super soft and really easy to clean, guys. That is a plus. The last product is a doctor's bandit. No more needles, no more. I also got this in my Sephora box. I'm bringing this up because I do sometimes get bags under my eyes. And this product is a great product if you want to wear light makeup and don't want to conceal so much. Place a little of this under your eyes and it helps with the poofiness. Um, I basically used it all so it's gone so I have to get the full product. But I am obsessed with that product. So guys, that was all of the products that I am just, are my favorite. I'm sorry I had to go super fast. But I want to knock this video out for you guys. And um, so if you guys love any of these favorites, let, leave a comment down below. I will leave all the products down below in the description box so you can know what is what. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.